Hello there, everybody. Back at it again with another video. Saying back at it again, like I've posted a speed paint like this in the past five years, but that's okay. Here with a little gouache painting of a toucan, because I felt like painting a toucan. So I did. <laughs> yep. This is just using regular gouache, not acrylic gouache, just plain old gouache. It's the whole bind. I just use the five color primary mixing set. It comes with primary cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and white. Um, I think, no, I don't know if I used the white that came in the set or that big tube of white that was just on the screen. It doesn't matter, it's white. But I had a lot of fun painting this. It was to cover up some marker bleed through that was on the back of the page. You can see it right there. There's Trucy's face and Clavier's booby. I had to cover that up with something. I mean, I didn't have to, but if I was, I wanted to paint a toucan, and if I was going to paint, I might as well cover up the marker that was there, right? Yeah. Yep. I did not make a script for this video. I'm just rambling. Sorry. But it was a lot of fun painting this. This was um, the first, not the first page. Um, no, it wasn't the first gouache painting I did in a while either. It, the first, no, not the first gouache painting I did in the sketchbook. The first non-human painting I did in the sketchbook. How about that? Yep, that's the truth. It was a lot of fun. Most of the painting was done in the colorful parts. The black part I just painted in completely flat. So it was just like a little bit of like minimal shading and things in the colorful parts. I just picked a colorful bird. Again, I don't know why. Sometimes you'll just be like lying down, going ready to sleep at night, and your brain is like, do this. You need to do this. Do this or you'll explode. And for me, it was painted you can. So I made a note of it in my little notes app. And then I woke up and I painted a toucan the next day. And that was that. I painted another bird on the opposite page just because, I don't know, it would feel kind of weird to have a random toucan and then just go elsewhere. But yeah, how many times do I say there were toucan in this video? Let me try to not say it anymore. Uh, this was probably the most satisfying part to paint in, just the flat black using my little angled brush, angled shader, I think. Mm. It's, it's just so satisfying to get like a nice, clean, flat lay down of gouache. It's like that is what it was meant to do. That's what it was meant to be used for. And actually getting that flat application is just so like, ooh. That was a nasty sound I made. It's just so pleasing. After I put the gouache down, I did go in with a little itty bitty bit of colored pencils just to clean up some lines and do a little highlights. But... That was really the process. I just sketched it out in a blue Colorace pencil. I believe it- hi, that's my head. My big old head. I think it was just the plain Colorace pencil that's called blue. And then the gouache on top, and then the little bit of colored pencil as cleanup afterwards. Mm -hmm. This was like a nice little ease into this sketchbook. Um, I think my last two videos, whatever, however many videos I made about my sketchbook, struggle the past couple past months i would say the past month um this was a nice way to like ease in because i was kind of on a roll like my first page that i had done it was the page that this was on the back of well that was the second page it was the first spread and like i wasn't ecstatic with it i was happy with it satisfied would be the word but i wasn't like over the moon but this was like a nice like after this page i was on a roll and i don't think i've broken that roll yet and it's, it's been a, a minute since I painted this. There's me going in with the colored pencils. Uh, the thin, the little, the stubby one is a regular Prismacolor Premier, and then the longer white one was a Verithin, so it's a harder lead, so it doesn't express as much pigment when you press it down on the page. So I'd like to use that for smaller highlights, and then for a chunkier, creamier one, I use the little stubby Premier. I should get a new one, but I use my supplies until they're dead. I need to stop rambling. Um, I'm pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks for sticking around. Yep, I'm so good at voiceovers. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe? Yup. Is that something? So I'm gonna stop. Bye. Oh, it's covered in crumbs!